Nick, how critical is a practice like this, and just especially when it comes to where you guys are in your season right now? It's definitely important, um, especially, you know, guys coming back, men coming back. Uh, you know, we're still missing Doe and, uh, and Day Day, but it's definitely good to be able to just get some reps on the court together and have a, a good practice and having two days in between. Jock has talked about the amount of minutes that he has had to play you. How have you just kind of balance just the added minutes and then doing that also without the other bigs, as you mentioned, with Doe, Dayron, and Ben? It's been a challenge, but it's a good challenge to have. It's why, you know, you put all the work in in the offseason to, to be able to trust your body to play however many minutes that I need to play. And, you know, I'm looking forward to also getting getting guys back in the near future and also be good to have Ben back soon. Is that hard on your body? I mean, Everybody, you want to play minutes, I'm not complaining. I, I remember when I, I wasn't even in the rotation. So, you know, now that I'm being asked to play maybe a, a few more minutes than normal, you know, like I said, that's why you put the work in in the off season to, to be able to play however many minutes I need to play. Going into this new month, I mean, you guys did make so many strides defensively. Does that kind of give you motivation for how this month can go because of how well the defense is starting to come around a little bit? It's definitely, it's definitely trending in the right direction on the defensive side of the ball. I still think we can be even more connected, even better out there. That's um, something we also focus on today in practice, but um, it's definitely good to see us going in the right direction. I know you've talked about like keeping the main thing the main thing, but with the trade deadline coming up, are you kind of thinking about or viewing that as the first hurdle to kind of staying in Brooklyn long term? I mean... Honestly, that's all out of my control. You know, I, I want to be here. So at the end of the day, I just have to be present and be where my feet are and just be a professional. And then getting back to basketball, you know, Jacques split you and Ben up in Ben's first game. And that might not always be the case going forward. Have you talked about kind of how to make sure the offense is humming with you and Ben both on the court yet? I mean, yeah, I mean, we, of course, we played together in the, in the, um, in the past, and then I, I think it's definitely, definitely um, good on the defensive side of the ball. It can be challenging sometimes offensively, but we also have advantages when we're both putting pressure on the rim and there's shooters around. So I'm looking forward to getting some reps with him. And then just do you feel the energy he had brought, at least in that first game, when you stepped on the court, even though you didn't kind of overlap? Definitely. Everybody was just in the rhythm. He was creating open shots, open opportunities for, for our shooters, and they were all you know, getting clean looks and the the spirits were, were definitely high. It's a little random, but who's the best lob thrower on this team? Best lob thrower? Uh, probably probably Ben, Spencer Ben. Yeah. How, how tough is it going to be for, for Saturday? Obviously, I think when I got here, you and Embiid kind of had a little bit of battles in the playoffs, but how tough is it be not being able to see him uh, to measure up against Embiid tomorrow? Yeah, that's tough. You never want to see anybody get hurt, and especially, you know, he was on a course to – probably win the MVP um, this season. So, I mean, it's tough, you know, hopefully he gets healthy, but we just got to focus on the guys that are going to be on the court tomorrow. Philly's still a really dangerous team. Do you guys feel like there's a, a measuring stick of some point for you guys after how that playoff series went where you guys have to show that you're not the same team that got out rebounded a little bit and all that stuff? I mean, we've been losing to them a lot. We, we got swept, we, we lost to them earlier in the season. So there's definitely a added motivation for us to come out and get a win. It's an Eastern Conference opponent, and we, we're tired of taking L's to him. You know how tough that building is uh, to play in. Just what is needed when it comes to the mindset, the approach, and the just the execution and aggressiveness that, that you guys will need? It's going to be fun. As a competitor, you love going into arenas, atmospheres like that. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. Um, you know, their fans, their fans are real rowdy, so you just got to be even more locked in on, on the main thing. KD talked about the other day about how he likes to talk to fans. Are you a trash talker? Do you like to like engage with fans and like how does that kind of boost you a little bit? Yeah, I do. I definitely um, I talk trash here and there. And then recently I started to engage with the fans. You know, it's all a part of the, the entertainment business. So it's fun to sometimes have a, a healthy conversation with a fan. Yeah. <laughs> You've done it in the game too. Like after the dunks, you, you know, you like to yell a little bit. Is that just kind of just juicy up when you make a play you want to just let people know about it? Yeah, I'm just real passionate. You know, that's just my passion coming out. A lot of times I'll get a tech and I don't even think about it in the moment. But after I'm like, ah, oh, that was kind of stupid. So that's something I've been trying to work on, just keeping my emotions in check. But like I'm a, I'm a fiery, I'm a fiery competitor. 
We've surpassed just the halfway point of the season. I know we're in we're approaching that all-star break. For you and your game, when you like kind of not look too far ahead, but is there any part of your game that you want fans and in the media to hone in and focus on more about what you brought to the court? Uh, just the just the overall just improvement, whether it's you know my my rebounding, uh, my rebounding's gotten a lot better this year. I'm still you know, I'm doing a good job protecting the rim, and then just just being a consistent consistent guy out there for my team every single night. Not to get too far ahead, but you know you might end up switched on on Tyrese on Saturday, and you know he just had 51. Uh, are there any other kind of guards in the lead that you look forward to matching up with, or is it kind of all the same to you? Uh, nah, it's, it's, different. it's certain matchups, certain guards. You know, you really wanna, you really wanna get a stop on a guy like Tyrese. Um, I, you know, it's, he's an All Star this year, with, um, which is which is dope. And he, like you say, he just had 51, and I worked worked out with him some in the summer. So um, you know, we definitely wanna wanna get some stops. What was that like working out with him? Is he just over competitive, just like you are? Yeah, super competitive. Really good energy. Um, really, really, you can tell he's a really good teammate. Um, He's just definitely as good as advertised. So were you surprised that from working out with him, he's kind of had this breakout season? No, not at all. He, he's got um, great work ethic. He's, you know, in the gym two times a day, and you can see um, the kind of professional that he is. All right, thanks, Nick.